This video illustrates how you can use the Excel data model to build pivot tables from several relatable data sources. It assumes that you either don't have the Power Pivot add-in because your version of Excel 2016 doesn't include it, or that you haven't yet added it in. A later video, Pivot Tables Based on a Data Model 2, shows how you can build the same pivot tables from the same data sources if you do have Power Pivot and have added it in. The main difference is that in the current video, the data model will be created as the pivot table is being built. In the later video, the data model will already exist and the pivot table will use it as its data source. The first thing you must realize is that tables can be related only if there are natural relationships between them which can be implemented with primary and foreign key fields. For example, if there is an orders table where each order is placed by a single customer, then the orders table must have a foreign key field for customer and the customers table must have a corresponding primary key field. Given that tables are relatable through such fields, a key strength of the Excel data model is that it can relate the tables without the need for VLOOKUP functions or special software such as Microsoft Access or Microsoft Query. It can all be done within Excel. For illustration, I will use sales from a fictional international company. There are three data sources. First, there is an Access database with the bulk of the data. Here you see its relationships diagram in Access. Note that these Access tables are already related through primary and foreign key fields, as indicated by the links in the diagram. I will close Access. Second, there is an Excel file with a table named Stores that contains data on the company stores. Its store key field is the primary key. Third, there is a comma delimited text file with geography data on store locations. I have opened it in Excel. Its geography key field, the first column, is its primary key. Starting from the blank Excel workbook you see here, I will first import the access data. I will select all of its tables, and I will import them into a new pivot table report on this worksheet. As you can see, all five of the tables are listed in the fields list. For illustration, I will break down the sum of sales amount from the sales table by product category name from the product categories table. Because the relationships from the access database are still intact, I get the correct values in the pivot table, even though I am using fields from different tables. Next, I will copy the stores table into a new worksheet in the same workbook that contains the pivot table. A table is automatically created, and it is named Stores. Back to the Pivot Table, in the Fields pane, I will click the All button to see the new Stores table. And I will insert a slicer for Store Name. However, something isn't right. I get the same values in the pivot table for any store I select. The problem is that the data model is missing a relationship, and there is a warning of this in the fields pane. 
I will click the Create button to create the necessary relationship. In the resulting Create Relationships dialog box, I need to select the Many side of the relationship, the Sales table, and its foreign key, Store key, in the top row. Then I enter the One side of the relationship, the Stores table, in the bottom row, and its primary key of the same name appears automatically. Now the tables are related properly and the pivot table results are correct. I can also see all of the existing relationships by clicking the Relationships button on the Pivot Table Tools Analyze ribbon. From here I could modify or delete any of the relationships or I could add new ones. Finally, I will import the geography data into a third sheet. Then I will designate it as a table named geography. and proceed directly to the Manage Relationships dialog box. In this case, the Stores table is on the Many side and the Geography table is on the One side and they are related by the Geography Key fields. I will now create a slicer for continent from the geography table and the pivot table will react properly. Admittedly, if you have the Power Pivot add-in, you might never proceed as I have done here. You will probably instead use the Power Pivot window to view all of your tables and manage relationships among them. Nevertheless, that method is basically equivalent to what I've done here. With either method, you are creating and manipulating an Excel data model as the basis for a pivot table.